friend of mine was nice enough to let me come to this house. 1874, I think he said it was built. And down by this tree, remember, always go around large trees. We got this cute little Indian friend. It was pretty deep, um, deeper than this plug. And that is a 1903 Indian. Not bad at all. No, this isn't deja vu. I'm at the same hole in front of the same house. But this isn't the same Indian. This is another Indian. 1907 for this one. My first Indian coin spill ever. Not bad at all. Um, if I'm not mistaken, still got some beeping. Now, I didn't go over it with the big de detector yet to see if it's uh, coin signal or, or not, but when you get two Indians out of a hole, you gotta get a little excited, right? We'll go over it with the big detector. Well, that's a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, well, I guess I'll work the hole and uh, see if there's anything else in there. Now, this is what we were hoping for. We have silver in the hole with two Indians. Boy, that sounds like a bad cowboy movie. Anyway, uh, so that signal turned out to be a silver signal. And that is a silver coin. And based on two coins that were 1902 and 1907, that should be a pretty decent silver coin. Barber. Can't complain with a barber. Would prefer seated, but I'll settle for a barber. That is the best coin spill ever. I just got here and something tells me this is going to be a great property. And like I said, the owners are friends of mine that I met at work and... Wow. <laughs> so we're still going around the tree, haven't done much of nothing yet, and there's coins everywhere. Looks like we got another Indian friend. This one's a bit older. Eighteen ninety two. Eighteen ninety two Indian head. Having a great day so far. Right by the front door here, directly in front of the house. I got a bit of a penny signal, and then when I got closer to it, it was a 75, which is our Indian signals. And it looks like we got another Indian here. Let's see if we can get a date off it. Oh, as usual, you got one good side and one bad side. And it might take me a little bit of time. Let's see if I can see it right off, but... Nope, well, probably going to take me a minute on that. Apparently the back's the good side of this one. Remember the house I was at previously, I got a lot of Canadian large scents. These things follow me around. I tell you what, I can't escape them. 
And this one looks like a 19, I thought 17. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Kind of hoping it was an American large then, but not bad at all. Back today and it's been storming. I got caught in a downpour, but you know, you can't give up the dream. So I was going along the front yard here and I got a jumpy signal from 80 to 88 just everywhere. But it settled down to an 82 once I got it out of the hole and it looks like we got a silver dime edge sitting there. Let's see what that is. Looks like a Merc. Nineteen forty-three, not bad at all. Looks to be in good shape. And I don't see a mint mark. Good find. Back here at the camp, I was using my super sniper coil, and uh, I wasn't getting a whole lot, so I put on the bigger coil. And of course, this land is very swampy; it has drainage areas, but it's still extremely wet, so things sink down very quickly. I've been digging memorial pennies at six inches or so. But it looks like I got a little silver dime there. Now, it's pretty deep, but like I said, I've been digging memorials really deep, so I doubt whether it's terribly old. Let's see. Rosie. not bad at all it's almost dark I leave for vacation tomorrow and I decided to come out here I got out of work about an hour before dark so I figured I'd take a look out here and I got a pretty deep 87 signal I believe it was I think the pinpointer is nine inches so I mean you're ta probably talking six or so I'll see if I can get you the signal A little jumpy, but 85, 86-ish. And it looks like we got a peak of silver there. And before I ran to get my camera, I made sure it was silver. And I'm pretty sure I saw 1910. So we'll see what this is. That is a barber quarter. Very worn, seems like all the barber quarters I get are worn, but that's a great find. Good thing I snuck out here right before dark. Light is failing me, and right beside where I got the barber quarter, I got two unidentified nickels. I can't see a thing on them, so quite honestly, they could be 1995 for all I know, but they were right next to the barber, so uh, maybe they'll be something special. I'll try to wash them up at home. Turned out to be two V nickels, and I had never gotten a V nickel before, so to get two of them in one outing was certainly interesting, and especially since they were right next to a barber. Still not sure why they were at a camp uh, that started in the 1940s, uh, possibly dropped by farmers or, or whatnot before then. Uh, since there's more than one in a confined area, I'm going to assume they were dropped around, you know, 1915, 1916, somewhere in there. I'm on location here in beautiful Kansas City, Missouri. I usually dig in Michigan, so this is kind of a new experience for me. Uh, my family owns a couple of older houses here, so I decided to try those at least first. And going along, I got probably about a two, three inch signal, but it was coming up a good silver dime signal. And it looks like we got a silver dime in the hole there. I don't know what it is yet. That is a Roosevelt 1964. Not bad at all for a silver earring. 
Like I said, still here on location in Kansas City. Um, we're in a quaint little subdivision here. Some of the houses are a little bit older, but it's a newer subdivision. And as you can see, I mean, there's a strip mall across the street. Uh, so it's being developed, but it has some age to it. I got a really good signal down in here. I mean, that is a high, high, high signal. And, uh, 90, 91, 95, and I get down in here, and sadly, although I was hoping for a half dollar, looks like we got a little quarter here. probably rang up so high because it's in good shape. It must have been dropped around 63 probably. I think that's close to when these houses were made, but I'm not sure if we got a mint mark. Let me check there. Oh, we do have a mint mark. It's a D. 63 D. This house scrounging around, seeing if I can find any coins I might have missed. And it looks like I found a coin I might have missed. came up you know closer to an 80 signal and then once I got it out of the hole it was more of a 70 71 it looks like it's an Indian friend um, 1902 Indian can't tell what kind of shape it's in but that's uh Certainly an Indian at Penny. Back at the Boy Scout camp here, it was a Boy Scout camp for the Thumb area from 1945 to 1947. Uh, people still used it after that, and it later became a park. However, it's off in the middle of nowhere down a dirt road, so nobody knows it's here. Which is why all the stuff is still in the ground, which is nice. I've gotten a couple half dollars here, lots of quarters, lots of dimes. And it appears like I have another silver dime. Let's see what it is. Merc. Nineteen twenty eight. don't see a mint mark. Not bad at all. But it doesn't end there. And I'm pretty glad it doesn't. I went to the other side of this tree and I got another signal. And I typically do not do live digs just because I painful setting up the shot and getting everything all ready. But uh, I'm going to try a little bit of a live dig here. Probably won't show the actual digging process, but I will show the signal while it's in the ground. about an 83, which is a good silver dime signal. And when I got a silver dime right there, I gotta imagine this will probably be another one. So uh, I'm gonna dig it up and then I'll come back with you and we'll see what it is. On the AT Pro, an 81 is usually a clad dime and 82 to 83 is a silver dime in very good shape. So I'm gonna guess this is gonna be in very good shape. Uh, like I said, with the AT Pro you can pretty well delineate between clad and silver. Looks like a mark. See those bands? As I said, with an 83, it's usually a dime in good shape, uh, as well as half dollars. So if it's ringing up a 92, uh, it's also a half dollar in good shape. Nineteen forty-one, and don't think there's a mint mark. 
Nope. But two Mercs, two feet away, and I got a silver quarter a while back that I haven't taped yet. So, good day, and especially for a hunted out region. I don't even know what's going on, folks. So we see this tree. Um, I got the first silver dime here, the second silver dime just on the other side, and then I got a signal, and you can see how deep that is. Of course, that's a, a shovel full, um, which is as big as the coil. And it is right at the bottom. Uh, and again, it's ringing up an 82, 83, which should be a silver dime. Ooh, this is like a live uncover. This is exciting. Let's see if you see it before I do. Ooh, and there it is. Triple Merc out of one tree. Yeah, I don't know what happened here, but there must have been a lot of activity. Um, 43. I think we get one with a mint mark, right? But we didn't. But again, it was ringing up high, if you remember. And you can see the bands. Wait, no, it, is, it does have a mint mark. That's a D. Uh, so three mercs, three feet away from each other with no pennies. I don't. I don't get this, but I like it. My first silver of the day um, before the Mercs, but I'm recording it last. Uh, just the way the geography worked out. And I got a quarter signal here, and it wasn't terribly deep. So I was thinking maybe it was clad. And I haven't really looked at it. I saw the corner of it, so I know it's silver. Can't mistake that, right? Nineteen forty three and no mint mark. Not bad at all. Looks like a worn one, so it's probably dropped later. Everybody's bummed about summer ending, but summer ending does have some benefits, mainly that I get to go back to summer camps. Now, I was moseying along here, and I got this signal, which is pretty much a quarter signal. Uh, it wasn't dreadfully deep, but I've been getting uh, 40s wheat pennies at about two inches, so I'm going to guess this item is re relatively deep. And I was thinking, you know, either a clad or a silver quarter. But it's not. It's a ring. And I'm going to bet dollars to donuts this is silver. Let me see if I can find a... Looks like it has writing. Yep, it says sterling. Not bad at all. Probably a child's ring, and I'm gonna guess it has some age to it. Back here at the old camp, and I got a 77 signal, it's a penny signal, and I probably ignored it for a very long time because it's just a penny signal, and who wants to dig pennies, right? But it's not a penny. Is it a half dime? No, I wish it was a half dime, but it is not. It is, however, the smallest piece of silver I've ever seen in my life. Let's see if I can get that to focus. If you can't read that on the periphery, which I'm going to guess you can't, it says Reorganized Church of the Latter-day Saints, which makes sense because I'm at a Latter-day Saints camp. The Latter-day Saints are nice enough to let me in. The Catholics don't let me go to their camps. So uh, if anyone out there happens to know the Pope and thinks you can get some strings pulled for me, just hit me up in the comments. Other than that, that is a beautiful find.
And we're back where we left off last year. If you've watched my previous videos, you know this is the exact spot I stood when I set out. Summer camp starts up in a couple of days, and this is going to be off the limits till the fall. So uh, it's kind of became my home away from home, so I hate to say goodbye to it. Uh, but of course, summer's coming to an end now, and I'm back. Um, I've been getting some crazy, crazy coins out of here. And I've been over this place an un unbelievable amount of times. Do, 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 do. Looks like we got one right there. I must have gotten a, an honest 75 silver coins out of this camp. It's just outrageous. Looks like we got a Merc. Hello, Merc. 42. And I don't see a mint mark. Not bad at all. Now this looks like it'd be a good detecting spot, right? Really old cabins. And it is a pretty darn good spot. Again, I've been over this place a lot of times. And... Looks like we got another silver. Merc. there 1942 and no mint mark but it looks like we got some pretty good bands on that but just like at the boy scout camp we got another interesting signal so we'll do a bit of a live session here i'll try to get the signal for you and then i'll dig it up Let's see if I can pinpoint that. Eighty-three, eighty-five, eighty-three, eighty-five. So that should be a silver coin, most likely a dime. So I'll dig it up and tell you what it is. Alrighty, it looks like we're still getting a good eighty-two, eighty-three with the dot of the hole. So we'll uh, see what we got here. Ooh, I see an edge. I still don't get how I keep finding silver here over and over and over again. Looks like a Merc. 1942. Boy, we love that date. And I don't see a mint mark again. So, three Mercs. Not bad at all. And that close to the other one, too. If I didn't know better, I'd say that uh, people were planting these for me. Uh, so, that is the first hole. That is the second hole, and I got another good signal. I mean, I've been over this place and over the. I really. <laughs> I'm kind of a loss for words here. Um, again, I mean, I don't know if I've said this on video yet, but my family donated this camp um, in the early 1900s. So maybe uh, a little karma? I don't know. Again, 83, 85. I mean, that's silver dime, and that's a deep signal, so <sighs> I guess we'll see again. <laughs> well, folks, we got skunked. Had to happen sometime. A piece of junk. Oh, wait. You don't say. I found this first, and I totally thought it was, it was junk. Uh, this is not metallic. It looks metallic, but it's not. Uh, anyway, of course, the silver dime's under it. Another Merc. This one is a 29? Is that a 29? Here, the stock market crashed. 
and I don't know if we're going to get a mint mark. You know, that was a really, really high reading for a worn silver dime. Um, but it was pretty deep. 1929. Whew.